Have you heard much about Starkey hearing aids? Probably not as much as you have about Phonak, Oticon, and those best German hearing aids to hit the market. But does that mean they're an inferior product? I don't think so. But there would be a reason why they would underperform most other major manufacturers' devices. And if you watch on, you'll find out. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Hill from Cincinnati, Ohio. And in this video, I'll be discussing Starkey's latest launch, the Edge AI. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe to our page by hitting the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. The Edge AI was released in early October 2024 and is Starkey's next generation hearing aid after the Genesis AI. You've probably not heard as much about it after all of the hype that Phonax and Phineosphere generated. Starkey definitely hasn't spent nearly as much on marketing as its competitors. But does it have to? I guess not. Starkey is the only US-based hearing aid manufacturer in the world and it is also privately held, unlike all other manufacturers which are owned by parent companies who have to appease shareholders and are traded on the stock market. This definitely makes Starkey stand out, at least here in the US. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't think it's either in the case of Starkey, and they are consistently competing with all other brands and devices and, in my opinion, offer superior custom-made products. In fact, they were the first brand to offer custom-made hearing aids many years ago. But I've diverged from the point of this video to review the features of the new Edge AI. The Edge AI features a 51 hour battery life, which beats all competitors. That's with the larger form factor called the RIC RT and with a smaller version, the MRIC, you can expect a 40 hour battery life. From my own impatient experience, the 40 hour battery life is true and is top notch. It's not just a claim. I think this is pretty great. No worrying if your devices will die while you're out and about. The new Edge AI claims that there is 100% more power in the chip, but it didn't really give any details as to how this might help patients. If it means more power compared to the Genesis, and it improves their already good fast-acting noise reduction and speech processing, improvements are welcome, and it definitely won't hurt. In some preliminary speech and noise testing comparisons we did in our office, the fast-acting processing in the Genesis has outperformed the fast-acting processing in the in the Infineo Sphere when not in Sphere mode. The next feature is that the new Edge AI utilizes a DNN or Deep Neural Network, which means better speech and noise processing, multi-talker situations, long scene analysis, enhanced speech, and more noise reduction by classifying the sounds faster. This DNN is always on, which differs from the Phonak, which has to be activated by noise or manual controls. However, the DNN is a stretch in my eyes, and how can Starkey do this better without sacrificing battery power like the Phonak Sphere Mode? It's a good question, but if it betters previous versions, patients will have good success. The Edge AI now has Edge Mode Plus, which is an extra, more aggressive speech and processing for noise. With its awesome battery life, even if Edge Mode Plus eats into the battery, patients can expect to get all day out of the battery and more. The only complaint we have is that if left on all the time, Edge Mode Plus can have a harsher sound quality for speech because it's more aggressive in its processing. So in quiet, it's best to leave it out of Edge Mode to preserve sound quality. Edge Mode Plus claims a 13 dBA SNR improvement in diffuse noise compared to Phonak Sphere's claim of 10 dB SNR improvement. However, that might not be a fair comparison because Phonak didn't state what type of noise it, it was in. We'll look a little further after we fit a few more and do more speech and noise testing. The Edge also has an IP68 rating, which means it's completely waterproof according to electronics ratings. We've had a patient drop theirs in a cold bath, hit the bottom of the bath before the patient could pull them out, and they still function just fine after a quick drying. Other manufacturers also have similar ratings, so this doesn't necessarily add anything to the count for this device. It would be good to note this is for all rechargeable products only, for all form factors, but not for the replaceable batteries. The Edge AI still has fall detection, low energy Bluetooth audio, and is Auracast ready. Auracast isn't expected to make a splash for a few more years, but it will be great when it does come to fruition. One big addition is the ability for the hearing aids to produce a steady assessment, which was developed by the CDC to help prevent falls, deaths, and injury. Steady stands for Stopping Elderly Accidents, Deaths, and Injuries. I have personally taken this assessment, and it's best used while under supervision, so I'm a little worried the wrong patient will try it alone and potentially end up with an injury. However, it's a cool concept and would allow professionals to monitor a patient's balance fitness remotely. We'll see how much traction it gains. While I may seem like I have a bias to Starkey, I really do not. 
And I'm just saying it may not get as good of a reputation as other brands, and I think it should. I also should tell you that I do fit evenly between all manufacturers and base my decisions on a patient's needs and past experiences. So if you've been in a Starkey before, we try to stick with the same brand if we can help to maximize performance and acceptance to treatment. Same with all other brands. So that's pretty much it for my review of the features and some current experience. But regardless of the performance improvements on the latest technologies, whether it be Starkey, Phonak, Oticon, or others, you need to make sure your device is fit with real ear measure. This will guarantee that all hearing technology is giving you the appropriate access to speech. Without real ear measure, I will tell you from experience that Starkey is the furthest from these heavily researched audibility targets on their first fit or proprietary fitting method. It's a known fact. Others like Oticon have their own distinct profiles and should also be fit using REM with these prescriptive methods. Phonak may be the closest to targets up front, but it struggles a bit with feedback and limits. Real ear measure will make a massive difference, especially with the Starkeys. It should be performed with all new fittings and at regular intervals to ensure patient performance and the proper treatment of hearing loss and tinnitus. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you've made it this far, Leave any comments or questions below so we can produce any more content or help in any way possible. Thank you.